Hi folks, this is Avnish from Edureka. How are you guys doing today? We have 15 people in this session. In today's session, we have a use case of Wikipedia and we will try to analyze wiki access log using Hive and HBase. I will come to problem statement very quickly, but before that, let me tell you what I am going to do today. We will start with a problem statement. We will come up with a solution and we will have the demo of the solution as well. Then finally, I will take a small quiz to reinforce your understanding and at the end we will have a small assignment as well. So let's get started. Now here is a specific scenario of a Wikipedia log. In this log there are a lot of URLs of Wikipedia which is giving status 404 that is server not found. And as developers we need to find out these URLs and quickly edit them out. The same thing is true for organizations on e-commerce platform also as they have thousands and lakhs of products on their portal which redirects to a new page. Even they can have multiple unfunctional URLs which needs to be corrected immediately. So let's have a look of Wikipedia log. Let me show you how the wikiaccess.log look like. So this is my wikiaccess.log file. You can see it has IP address, the host, date and time the status which the URL gave, the URLs, the browser they are using. There are multiple parameters in this file. Every activity done by the users on Wikipedia is getting logged in wikiaccess.log file. It's a semi-structured file which means it's not in a table format. The file has multiple attributes which are separated by a semicolon or a separator. Now what I want to find here is how many URLs of Wikipedia return status 404 which is server not found and what is the frequency of those URL. As a developer if I have this information handy and getting regularly updated to me I can easily take action on that. So this is the file which I am going to analyze today for Hive HBase integration. Just imagine what kind of loss it would be to Wikipedia if huge number of Wikipedia users are not able to access the URLs they browse. So you have understood the problem. Let me reiterate the problem for you once again. We need to analyze the semi-structured wiki log and filter out all the URLs with status 404, server not found, with their frequency and pass this result to developers so that they can take corrective actions immediately. If they can get a notification in real time whenever URL is not working then they can correct those URLs and it will save lot of dollars for Wikipedia. Now if we do this job by classic Unix way using a simple command let's say cat wiki access dot log gref 404 even this will give me all the URLs which gave 404 status but will this command work what do you guys think the answer is no. We are not dealing with a small data size. When you are analyzing a Wikipedia log file which is six month old or even a year old, the amount of data you are trying to analyze is huge. Hence grep command won't work here. We are dealing with big data here. I am assuming that you guys know what is big data. If not, you can refer to Edureka's videos on big data. So what comes to rescue is Hadoop. Now this is semi-structured data we are dealing with. Huge in size. It gets populated at very fast rate. Hadoop is the ideal solution for storing this data as well as analyzing it. This is how our high level workflow will look like. What we will do is we will load this wiki access log file on HDFS. HDFS is Hadoop distributed file system. And this log file has multiple parameters, namely host, identity, user, time, request, status, size, referrer. Referrer is nothing but the URL and the agent. As per our problem statement, we need to pass the URLs with status 404 and their frequency to the developers. So there can be an online interface where the developers will get the result as host, bad URLs, the URLs which are not working and the number of times that URL gives status 404. So this is how high level workflow will look like. Now the log data set which we have on HDFS 
we need to transform this data to bring it in structured format and remove noise from this log data. For that, we will perform ETL operation on the wiki log data. There are multiple tools which can do this task. We will use Hive. We can run SQL-like queries on the log file which is there on SDFS. And by running queries on this log file, we will identify the URLs that gave status 404 and their frequency. But now there is an issue. Hive cannot act as a data store for online access. In other words, it cannot be used as a database for a website. So we need something here in between Hive and developer online interface which can act as a data store. Now, if I think of a tool in Hadoop ecosystem which can be used as a data store for websites, it would be HBase. As it can do real-time read and write. It will give results to developers in real-time. So let's look at our workflow again. Our wiki access log is there on HDFS. We will load this data in Hive and perform ETL operation by using SQL-like queries to analyze this data. We will load the analyze result to HBase, which will act as data store for online access. So before we jump into integration, let's refresh what is Hive and HBase. Hive is an ETL tool, whereas HBase is a NoSQL database. Both run on top of Hadoop. Hive allows multiple operations like joins, group by, filter, whereas in HBase we have very limited operations like insert, delete. The most important point, you can use Hive where query time is not important like ETL. But where query time is very important, HBase is used. It can act as a backend for a website to give real-time results. Now let's move to our practical of Hive HBase integration. So let me show you. I am using Edureka virtual machine, which is a part of Big Data and Hadoop course at Edureka. I will show you the versions of Hadoop, Hive, and HBase which I am having on this virtual machine. So let me log in to my virtual machine. I am using Hadoop 2.7.0. My HBase is 0 0.96 and Hive is 0 0.13. So the first thing what we need to do here is we need to load our wiki access log on HDFS. So let's go ahead and do that. We will use put command for that. Let's go and check whether the file got loaded. Yes. So we have that wiki access log file on our HDFS now. Now what I have done is I have kept all the queries which I'm supposed to run in this tutorial handy in this file. So I'll just copy paste the commands. The first thing is we need to create a table in Hive where we can load this wiki access log data. So we'll go back to our virtual machine and let's start Hive. It will give me Hive shell where I'll be running all my queries in Hive. So I'll just paste this command here. What it will do is it will create a table access which has all the parameters, host, identity, user, time, request, status, size, refer, agent, which is there in wiki log file. Now I'm using this input.regex for regular expression. So I'm using these regular expression. So I need to add a jar file. This is the jar file, hive contrib jar file. Let me just add this jar file before I load data into the table. So now it is telling it has added the jar file. The next thing what I need to do is I will load this wiki access.log file into my access table. So this is the query which I'll run for that. The data has been loaded to the table. Let's run a simple query just to verify. 
I will just give limit 20 so that it will give me just 20 records. I don't want all the records. Yep. So the data which was there in wiki access dot log file has come to this table access. Now we need to find what all records are there where status is 404. So let's run this query. Select star from access where status is equal to 404. It will give me all the records in wiki access log file which has status 404. Now a map reduce job is running. We could have used a map reduce tool also to analyze this wiki access log file. But we are using Hive so that we can just run simple SQL like queries. We need not go and code the complete thing. We can just run a simple SQL query. All right. So it has executed and it has given me all the results all the records which are there with status 404. Now, we need to find the host, the URL, and the frequency of those URL, how many times they occurred, how many times they gave status 404. So finally, we'll be running this query. Select host, referrer, referrer is nothing but the URL, and their frequency we'll get. So let's run this query. Again, a map reduce job will be running at the back end. Let's wait for the job to finish. So this is my analyzed result. I have the host, I have all the URLs which gave status 404 and how many times did they give status 404. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. So I've created the table, I have added the jar, loaded the file, and ran my queries. Now that we have analyzed the data in Hive, we need to integrate Hive and HBase so that we can send this analyzed data to HBase, which has to act as a data store for online access. So what we will do is, we will create a table in Hive and we will match the columns of Hive with HBase. So we have host referer count in Hive and here HBase columns will be key will be nothing but host, referrer, and count. CF1 is a column family which will be created in HBase. And the table which will get created in HBase is log. So it will create a table in HBase as well. So let's go back and run this query. Now, a very important thing, guys. Pay attention here. Before I run this query in Hive, my HBase should be up and running as it is creating a table in HBase as well. So let me start my HBase before I run that query. So firstly, Zookeeper should start. My HMaster has started and my region server has also started. Let me just give a JPS command and see all the demons are up and running. Yup, HBase shell. This will start HBase shell. Now, if I just give a simple command list, it will list all the tables which are there in HBase. So, now let's run HBase shell. So I'll just give a command HBase. So I will just give a command HBase shell. Let me give a simple command list which will tell me the tables which are there in HBase as of now. So right now there is no table. It's empty. HBase. Now let's copy our command here and go back to Hive and paste this command. So this will create a table in Hive. This will create a log table in HBase and map the columns. Let's go back to HBase and give a list command again. Let's see whether the log table is there. Yep, the log table is there now. Now 
the result which we analyzed in Hive, we need to load this result in HBase so that it can act as a data store for online access. So let's do that. I'll just copy this command, paste it here in Hive. This command is insert overwrite table, HBase table access, and this is the same query which we ran here to analyze this result. Select host, referrer, count star from access where status is equal to 404, group by host and referrer. Let's run this query. It will load this analyzed result in HBase table as well. Again, a MapReduce job will start. Let's wait for the job to complete. Okay, so the job has completed. Let's come to HBase and to see the content of the table, we will run this command. Our table name is log. So scan log. Yeah, so you can see whatever data we analyzed in Hive, we were supposed to load this in HBase and we have done that. And all this analyzed result has come to HBase in log table and now this HBase can act as a data store for online access. So let's summarize it now. We had our wiki access log file on HDFS. We loaded it in Hive and performed ETL operation to find out URLs resulting in 404 error and their frequency. Now we loaded this analyzed result to HBase, which will act as a data store for online access and our developers can get a view where they can see the host, the bad URLs, and the number of times that bad URL occurred. So we successfully integrated Hive and HBase in this use case. We have come to an end of this tutorial, folks. Thank you for your time and watching this video. I hope it added value to you guys. Please like and share this video. Feel free to comment and give your feedback and also subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.